and welcome back to just wing it welcome back ladies and gentlemen welcome back boys and girls and rc model aviation enthusiasts all across the globe what do we have today today we have the latest iteration of e-flight's vaunted timber lineup this is the umx turbo timber evolution okay uh full disclosure before we get any deeper i've already flown this airplane I've already crashed this airplane <laughs> about a battery and a half into this plane's life. It decided that it was going to take, right out here by the way, it decided that it was going to take a completely uncommanded, uncontrolled death spiral into the ground. It took a dirt nap and I still don't know why. I don't. I was flying lazy eights out here. I was doing a right turn and I was transitioning from the right bank into the left bank. About uh, 20, 30 feet up, and it just decided it was going to go on, and it said I'd had enough. I don't know why it did it. Broke the nose off, damaged the spinner. That's why I painted the spinner blue. Did my best to, to uh, repair it, and then to try to get some video of this plane, okay? Um, in any event, I've, I've been working on it uh, the, the past couple of days, trying to get it ready to go, and, and, and here we are. I still don't know why. I was a battery and a half in. The battery had plenty of juice in it whatever plenty of flying speed the flaps weren't down it was actually at a moderate flying speed it wasn't high speed it wasn't low speed it was right in the middle i don't know whatever um these things happen oh by the way my servos are already set to like 95 percent of the throws so yeah I, I if you go through the channel the hundreds of videos i have i i'm pretty experienced with the umx format in any event let's get busy with this before i, I babble on the reason why i didn't have video of the crash my Mobius, this thing right here, uh, is pretty old. It's like eight years old, and the battery is it's getting sketchy. So I deep cycled it a few times over the past couple of days. I mean, recorded it for 20 minutes straight, recharged it, recorded for 30 minutes straight, recharged it, recorded ultimately last night, 45 minutes straight, then recharged it. Hopefully, we'll get some usable video today. All right, let's get busy. Control check, up, down, left, right left right uh and then flaps we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and give flaps at about half today um and let's get busy all right oh another thing too this is the the safe switch i always fly the safe off i just do there's no wind it's a beautiful morning out here although as typical with the uh as typical with the uh mojave desert um uh the winds could kick up to vex us they're supposed to get to like 25 30 miles an hour whatever so anyways all right let's get busy here we go half flap half lap takeoff here we go all right good to go good to go let's bring the flaps off actually you know what let's keep the flaps on there we go nice little plane using some rudder here in the turns we're about half throttle right now wow Okay, I'm liking it. It's a little noisy. Uh, interesting. It's a little noisier than uh, I thought it would be. Um, but that's all right. Here we are. <laughs> Kicking some rudder in these turns. Again, it's half flaps. Um, so, yeah, this is the Turbo Timber. We're bush flying her. Um, I do have it balanced right at where Horizon recommends. This is a straight wing plane. There you go. Kicking some rudder. Um, and it's really easy to balance the straight wing airplane, okay? Um, but as you can see, uh, she's flying what appears to be a little tail. I don't know. Let's go ahead and clean the flaps up. Let's bring the throttle up, clean the flaps up. Okay, yeah, she's flying really good. So I was doing some fig some lazy figure eights. What's a figure eight? That's a figure eight right here. We're doing some lazy eights up front. And then you transition right, right, right where you are. Whoa! For some reason, as it came out of that turn, she decided to go up. That's okay. I'd rather her go up than go down. <laughs> anyway, these are lazy eights. Okay. As an RC modeler, you're expected to show show proficiency with uh, doing a lazy eight, which that one swung really wide. Anyway, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and see if she can do a hammerhead. She she obliges to do a hammerhead. All right, well, yeah, they always do. These things always fly really good. Um, I think I'm, I, my battery, I want to set my battery a little bit further 
in the nose. So let's let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Huh? What do you say? So let's bring her out. I'm gonna go ahead and give half flaps. Give her some throttle. Give her some full flaps. All right, all right. It's a little bumpy out here on the the playa, the dry lake today. Um, and um, it just you know what? And it's hear that? It's like cement. It, it's because we've got so much rain and then so much uh, uh, compaction. The water's dried up. Rain, water. Let me look at that. This stuff is like cement. It's like cement. It's crazy. All right. Let me clean the flaps up. Let me. And by the way, this is where I'm flying my battery right now. Okay. You can see it. Um, I'm right to where the, the hatch is. I'm gonna move it just a little forward, okay? Just a little forward. And it's a smidge, by the way. Now, this is where my battery is, slightly forward of where the hatch is. Um, I prefer my planes to generally fly a little uh, nose heavy. Slightly nose heavy, okay? So let's put her back up in the air. Let's give her half flaps. Actually, you know what? Let's give her full flaps. Let's do a stole takeoff. What do you say, huh? All right. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off. Wow. That's stupid. <laughs> We're going to bring half flaps back in. I went to no flaps as we neared the apogee of that climb out. Here we are. Wow. <laughs> That's just stupid. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, is she flying? Good? Yeah, she's flying all right. There we are. All right. Yeah, I like that. Let me get her straight and level here. Yeah. It's okay. Actually, you'd probably do that without the flaps. So, let's do that without the flaps. There's no wind. So, let's see. Where am I at? Oh, I've only burned a... Okay. Clean the flaps up. Four minutes, says the young lady. All right. Four minutes. Yeah, she still wants to climb pretty good. So I'm going to have to do some, some trim adjustments on the elevator. Um, so that's all right. That's cool. That's cool. Or I could just put the battery further. You know, you could either do, you could either do, see the, uh, so the control surfaces are all zeroed, right? Mechanically. They're all centered would be the term. I had to duck on that one. <laughs> so they're all centered mechanically. Um, but sometimes you could just adjust the, the, the flight attitude with the, with the battery, right? So let's go ahead and go full flap. All right, I'll take that one. Okay, all right. Um, okay. I think, see, I don't know whether I should just do the digital. I think I'll just do the digital. So she's climbing, so we're going to give her a little bit of down. Give her a little bit of, of right aileron. All right, let's go to half flap. Watch out for that rock. It's a rock right there. Okay, and let's let's get busy. Here we go. Actually, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I did want to keep full flaps. Let's do another stole takeoff. But let's. Oh, that's a piece of wood there that would probably not end very well. So let's get her away from the wood. All right. All right, let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> it's just stupid. God. Oh my God, right? Come on. <laughs> anyway, it just looks pretty good, the blue nose. Huh? What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, here we are, UMX Turbo Timber from E-Flight, the Turbo Timber Evo. This is the latest iteration, the latest uh, uh, version 
of the vaunted, of the venerable, of the very well-received. You like that? I try to use V's all the time. Uh, timber lineup. So let's go ahead and uh, put her down here real quick. And I'm going to go to half, uh, full flaps again. Uh, oh, she wanted to float that time. So let's go ahead and clean her up to half flap. And uh, let's try that again. We here at Just Wing It are very amendable to go arounds. I encourage you to do to do that as well because a good landing is only as good as the approach that precedes it. Oh, whoa there, Tim. Hey, Tiger. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Airplane, for playing. Um, yeah, so as you can clearly see, this thing flies... The exact same as all the other timbers in the lineup. Um, it really does. It's a beautiful flying aircraft, a model aircraft. Um, this was an original design by, I believe, Matt Andron. In any event, it's a Horizon Hobbies exclusive. And because it was designed from the ground up as a stole airplane and, and they could uh, do what they wanted to do with the design because it wasn't really a scale model, these things fly fantastic because you you can take all the aeronautical principles and aeronautical design features, combine them into a plane that's built from scratch, and, and get a, a beautiful flying model, as you can see here. Very docile in the approach, uh, half flaps. I've got all the, the Horizon recommended uh, uh, adjustments for regards to the ballooning uh, with the elevator. So you go to half flap, and I think it's like, I don't know, 7 degrees or whatever. You can look it up in the manual. If you get a full flap, it's like 17 in any event. I use the Horizon Hobbies call out for half flaps and for full flaps for the elevator. I normally don't do that, and I generally don't do any mixes from the aileron to the rudder. And here's why. Because I do so much flying near the ragged edge, and I do, I love bush flying, I, I generally like to fly the plane, which means I have to have full control of the model. Okay, I want full control when I'm near the ragged edge. And really, I'm just going to be blunt. These, these rudder aileron trims are really only good because, of the, because they're not exponential. In other words, because the rudder deflection, the aileron deflection, do not increase or decrease with the airspeed of the model, they're really only good for certain airspeed envelopes, right? Let's, let's just be honest with, with ourselves, right? So although that's a good way to go, and if you want to go that way, go that way. If you want to fly with slats, fly with slats. If you want to take the slats off, take the slats off. But... That's the neat thing about RC modeling. But as for me, in, in my aviation experience with RC models, I'm going to fly with the slats because they're lift-generating devices, and I love lift on a bush plane. And I generally like to have full control, so therefore I don't have rudder aileron mixes. That said, let's see where we're at with the battery. What, you, what do you say? What say you? Let's take the battery out. And by the way, there's that uh, really trick, a uh, new 3S capable motor. Look at my little repair job on my spinner, huh? <laughs> Did all right. Hey, I didn't break a prop, right? But there's, there's your motor. Um, plenty of lead, plenty of lead. So, hey, we're, we're good to go there. Um, let's put the, uh, the cowling back on. And let's see where we're at here for battery usage. We were just putting around. I had a 95%. There you go. We're at 41% remaining. Let's go to each cell. We're at 381, 383, 381. So 381, 383, 381. So there you go. All right. Very good. Okay. So this is the... Um, and let's clear this out and turn the box off because the model is... Now, officially safe. This is your battery that I'm flying on. This is your uh, three cell, 300 milliamp, 30 C battery that Horizon Hobbies is, uh, it's a really neat little, <laughs> this thing's a three cell. I mean, that's awesome, right? So we're gonna put that there. And uh, here's my EO Sentry that I've had almost as long as the, uh, the Mobius. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So that's a, a, a great, that's a recipe for a great Sunday morning. It really is. So this is the uh, E-Flight UMX Turbo Timber Evo. 
Um, again, full disclosure, I've already flown this plane, wasn't able to get video uh, because my Mobius was acting up, and um, my Mobius was acting up, and it would record for about a minute, and it would shut off. And I was so, oh, I was so mad. Had the crash on video, and whatever. Anyways, um, so now I deep cycled the, 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 the camera two, three, however many times. Seem, you know, hopefully it's working. <laughs> In any event, if not, this will be a bust. <laughs> In any event, we're just winging it, ladies and gentlemen. No, so the plane took an uncommanded spiral from a lazy eight right out here. Um, and, uh, it, it, it did it took a dirt nap took a dirt nap so in any event um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this look at the umx turbo timber evo uh and uh yeah i, I like it hey two thumbs up well yeah i don't know why it took an uncommanded dirt nap and apparently there's some other folks who've had this plane do some weird things too um and here's the here's the reality when it comes to things like that if you call the company and they say, well, we haven't had any complaints, well, that, that, that's no one moot, really. Actually, that's a moot data point. That's an invalid data point because not everybody that has problems are going to call. That's based on the assumption that everybody that has problems with their product will call the company. And not everybody does that, right? Look at cars. Some, some folks actually can fix their own cars or what have you. That's a fact. Um, you know, same thing with these RC planes. A lot of folks who buy these things don't always call the company, right? Also, if the company then turns around and says, well, a group like RC Groups, a forum, a web-based forum like RC Groups, well, that's really a small subset of the hobby. So they'll say that, right? But then they'll turn right around and then they'll say, oh, but we've only seen four or five complaints in RC Groups. So therefore, they will vilify the format, the platform as, well, this is a very small subset of the hobby, and then turn right around and say, oh, but by the way, I've only seen four or five, you know, complaints on RC groups. So wait a minute, time out. You cannot have it both ways. Either RC groups is a very small subset, or you're going to use that the fact that there's only four or five complaints on RC groups as a valid data point. Which one is it? <laughs> so in any event, and I'm not and I'm not dissing on Horizon Hobbies. I look, in case you all haven't figured out. I'm a Horizon Hobbies fanboy, proud, <laughs> card-carrying member, right? <laughs> Love it. But all I'm saying is, is, is it worth $170? Absolutely. Check it out. Just, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say buyer beware, but I had an issue with it. Maybe it's cleared up now. It seemed to fly fine today. Don't know. But in any event, I do love the airplane. Check out the channel. Much more to come with this airplane. I've got a whole bunch of videos on the its predecessor, the UMX uh, Turbo Timber, and got a whole slew of the UMX Timber. Um, I really love these these models. So hopefully this this plane got all of it, the gremlins out of it when it went in a few days ago, <laughs> knocked all the gremlins out of it, and uh, and we'll see. So in any event, hey, thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Looking forward to your comments. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell, ding, so you know when more videos are popping up on Just Wing It of this plane and many others. All right, again, thanks for checking us out. Cheers, everybody.